open this is good stuff. Hey, how to open a feed bag. A lot of people are of the mind you just take a knife, slice right across here, and it's open. Some people try to cut the threads from the inside. Now this will probably won't work for me today because I'm filming. The tag's over here, and the tag is always an afterthought. So they started over here. So what you do is you cut the strip, or as close to the bag as you can. Now there are two sides. There's one that'll have little loops, and there's one that will just have a straight, single thread. Grab that single thread, and pull. And pull, and pull, and pull, and pull. Voila! Your bag is open. This looks kind of dusty still. Ah, it's got more going. This is what I feed my chickens. They're excited. Uh, and your bag is open and it can be reused for almost anything. Okay. Watch out, chick, 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 chicken! Watch out! We are off grid. We do not have um, utility company power. We have solar. Therefore, our uh, our electricity is at a premium. Now, you'll notice that the lights I have. Well, I don't even know if these work anymore. Uh, the lights I have here are just to add a little light. I ordered a light with a remote control that literally will come on for a few hours and go off. You can set it for two, four, six hours, whatever, uh, and then it'll go off because my chickens need more lighting. I'm not getting the hen to egg ratio that I should get. Now, if you have 10 hens, you should be getting 5 eggs if they are of laying age. Um, uh, if 50% egg to chicken ratio is really good. Um, heat, we do not heat. Instead of providing heat, we provide something that is just as important as heat. And that is called ventilation. Ventilation will keep your chickens from getting frostbite. Ventilation is very important. They, these little guys put out a lot of heat and a lot of moisture. So ventilation is actually more important than heat. These chickens in this, I mean, I just got sheet metal. I just got sheet metal around the top of this. Uh, and it, it works great. Um, keep the wind off them. Uh, my uh, laying nesting boxes are just three uh, five gallon buckets laid on their side and nailed there. Um, I got to get these guys their water. But you don't have to heat your chicken. Chicks, uh, uh, heat lamp helps with chicks when you're raising chicks. But what we do is because I am not spending that kind of electricity on chicks we set a clear container right next to the wood stove um, and keep it covered so the can't, cats can't play with the chicks and it, it works fine it really does uh, we have been really blessed with chicks with no losses so far uh, from not having a heat lamp um, and I am just tickled pink I do use the deep litter method You'll notice it looks nasty down there on the floor. I use the deep litter method, which insulates the floor from the ground. Um, and that's about it. Water. How do you keep your water from freezing? Simple answer. Off grid, you don't. Your water is going to freeze. Guaranteed. Guaranteed your water is going to freeze. Oh, look, there's some water in there. That's hard. <laughs> Let's see.
see if I can. There you go. There's some water in there. It's going to freeze. But you change the water every day. All right, that's how we do it on our homestead. Chickens get fresh water, and yes, they are thirsty in the morning, but that's okay because they will drink all of the uh, all the water they need. They will drink before that freezes. Uh, sometimes when it's really cold, like if it's 25 below zero out here, what I'll do is I will change their water more often. I'll come out here in the after, early afternoon, mid-afternoon and change it. Give them some, because they need water when it's cold. It's important, just like us. Uh, wow, it's starting to snow again. We're supposed to get half an inch today. My What's the Forecast app, uh, What the Forecast app, uh, has been wrong recently. We've been getting about half an inch more snow than what they called for or a quarter inch more snow than what they called for the other day But that happens that's gonna happen um, All right This is T ham 141 Saying take care of your chickens fresh water every day. I don't care if the water freezes or not. They need fresh water every day food every day uh Anything beyond clean living conditions, clean water, good food, is spoiling your chickens. And it's okay. I buy them flock blocks. Every once in a while, if the budget has it in it, I'll, I'll get them some mealworms. Oh, they love the mealworms. We free range our chickens. Not that they can get a whole lot off the ground and from the grass and, and bugs and stuff right now. <laughs> But we do free range our chickens all year long and it works out really good god has blessed us so all right this is t ham 141 take care of your chickens and y'all have a great day god bless